Hello everyone. Let's start with Act 5, Scene 1. We have already started and I think so we have already done the first story. Here I have written it in short. Lorenzo was actually referring to the unfaithful love and Jessica was referring to the faithful love. Now they were talk, they've given here, you know, you'll come to know about these four stories. Now the first one we've already done, Trollis and Cressida. So we've already done that story. Second is about Thisbe and Pyramus. So we'll start with that story. I hope you remember this story. This was about the exchange of Greek soldiers and they gave away Cressida, the king of Troy. Right? So let's continue. Jessica, in such a night did Thisbe fearfully overtrip the Jew and saw the lion's shadow air himself and ran dismayed away. Now here she says that in such a beautiful night, you know, uh, Thisbe was there and the moment she actually, uh, this story is about Thisbe and Pyramus, they were forbidden to meet. So what they used to do, they used to meet each other in the forest. Now once, when Thisbe was actually, you know, in the forest waiting for Pyramus, she saw the shadow of a lion. The moment she saw the shadow of a lion, she ran away. The moment she ran away, she left her cloak behind. Now when she, uh, she was gone, after her, you know, when she was gone, after that, Pyramus came. And when he actually saw uh, Thisbe's cloak on the ground, he thought that maybe lion must have attacked her. And maybe she's killed. So what he did, he killed himself. Now when Thisbe returned and saw Pyramus' body, she got scared and even she committed suicide. So this is a story of a faithful love. It's an example of a faithful love. Let's read it here. It is here. A Babylonian, she loved Pyramus, but they were forbidden to me, so they met in the forest. Once, when she was waiting for him, she saw the shadow of a lion and fled, leaving her cloak behind. Pyramus saw the cloak, thought she was dead and killed himself. Thisbe returned, saw his body and committed suicide. She stands as a symbol of faithful love. I hope this story is clear. So Lorenzo was teasing Jessica by giving an example of an unfaithful love and Jessica she was trying to defend herself by giving the examples of faithful love. Now there's another story here, third one. In such a night stood Dido with a willow in her hand upon the wild sea banks and walk her love to come again to Carthage. Now, of course, this story is about a queen. You know, uh, she was the queen of an island, Carthage. She was there and there was this uh, Trojan warrior who was on a voyage and he, you know, he stayed there in uh, at her place for some time. She fell in love with him. He promised he would return back but she never came back. So every night she used to walk, you know, on the sea bank, on the seashore with a willow in her hand. Willow is a branch of a tree. A willow is a tree, of course, and it's branch. So she used to take it, carry it, and she used to walk on the seashore. I'll read it. It's given here. Ennis was the Trojan warrior who founded the city of Rome. Please remember these important points. During his voyage, he reached Carthage where he loved Queen Dido. After a long stay with her, he sailed away leaving Dido heartbreak, heartbroken. She killed herself out of grief. So it was her sadness and grief that she killed herself. Shakespeare says that it must have been on a beautiful moon night that Dido walked sadly on the seashore holding in her hand a willow, the symbol of deserted love. She beckoned to Aeneas to come back to Carthage. So she used to walk, she used to call for him, but he never came back. 
so that's an you know another example of unfaithful love given by lorenzo now let's move to another story we have another story after that that is given by jessica again and this story is about a faithful love and you have already read this story in your act 1 i think so the page was page 31 just let me check i want you all to go to yeah go through the story 33 page 33 it is on page 33 story of the golden fleece if you remember it was act 1 scene 1 where uh, bassanio was talking to antonio and he was explaining how beautiful Portia looks. That is what you need to remember. Just let me check. Yes. Now let's come back to page one hundred and thirty-eight. Jessica. In such a night, media gathered the enchanted herbs that did renew old Ace. Now this they haven't given any reference here, but this story is about this enchantress, media. She was an enchantress, and Jason. her husband who got who actually got the golden fleece was not physically strong to fight a dragon to get the golden fleece so she is the one you know who used some herbs to make him strong enough to fight the dragon she gave she even used her and you know enchanted herbs to renew jason's father asen old asen however jason he fled away the moment he got the golden fleece he left his um wife media and ran away with the golden fleece so this is another example of unfaithful love but media she was a faithful lover now these are the four stories that you need to remember after that they still continue to tease each other so let's see that Lorenzo in such a night did Jessica steal from the wealthy Jew and with an unthrift love did run from Venice as far as Belmont Now here Lorenzo is actually teasing Jessica by saying in such a beautiful night there was this girl she was a Jew Jessica who ran away from her father she took all that she could from her father and she ran away with her careless lover right okay uh, we'll continue with it thank you